Welcome to another Tech Tuesday at Phytech. Today we're going to cover installing our Go Spark CDI ignition system on a points distributor in this 58 Impala. Our mechanic Mike's going to show you the difference between the points ignition energy and the CDI ignition energy. He's going to do a quick install for us and then we're going to install it permanently in this Impala so that the customer can start his car. We got this 58 Impala in here. It came in on a tow truck. Uh, it's at 348 with tri power. We're going to convert it to fuel injection. But before we can do that, we actually have to get the car to run. I've got a, uh, a little device into the coil that shows the intensity of the spark. This, this is a point ignition system, the old, old school. Uh, back in the day, the gasoline was different. It might have you know, lit off quicker. But today's gasoline, she just won't start. So you can barely see any, any spark coming out of the coil, and there's none at the spark plug. So it's losing it all through the wires. In order to get the vehicle to start, Mike will be installing a Phytech GoSpark CDI box. The GoSpark delivers full energy sparks to ensure a complete ignition. The installation of a GoSpark unit is fairly straightforward. The wiring harness simply clips into the CDI box and features several clearly labeled wires. Two that go to the battery, two that go to the coil, an ignition key on wire, a wire to the tachometer, and a wire to the points. First thing we're going to do is disconnect the negative side of the battery cable. We're just going to temporarily put this in. Drill holes later. Okay, so now I'm going to disconnect the positive cable and put the put the terminal on the cable from the CDI. It's clearly marked battery and ground. Next thing we're going to have to do is disconnect the wires going to the coil from the distributor. Those are going to go to the CDI box. We got the wires off the, the uh, coil and we got two wires from the CDI box. One of them's marked coil positive, one of them's marked coil negative plain to see. So this one's going to go to the coil positive. This one will go to coil negative. All right. So now we have the wire from the, the point distributor and that's going to go into our CDI mark point. So temporarily going to hook it up. Okay, the next wire is going to go to the, it says ignition switch, the red wire. resistor needs to be bypassed. So I'm going to take the green wire off of the bottom of the, the resistor and hook it into the red wire at the top which gives it 12 volts during cranking and running. Okay, now we're going to show what the difference is in the spark. Look at the difference in the spark intensity. I don't know what the voltage is, but it's got to be maybe 20 times better. 
fired right up. Beautiful. So as you can see, the ignition energy from a CDI ignition system helps with starting. It, it wouldn't even start with the old points ignition system, even with a good battery. Um, but with the CDI, it starts and fires up. It's got all the power it needs. We've gone through and cleaned up the installation for a permanent install. You can see the CDI box is over here, out of the way of the heat. But the, the wire is still connected to the original coil still connects to the points distributor without any modification other than bypassing the ballast resistor. But this is the, the final way that, that it'll look on, on your setup if you install it just like this. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Join us again for another Tech Tuesday at FiTech. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below or contact our tech support or visit our website at www.fitechefi.com.